Hey there, folks. Um, I'm still out here at the park. It's such a nice day, I really don't want to go home, and I'm just sitting here with my phone. Um, been wanting to make some videos, but there's not a lot of things going on right now to film. But while I was sitting here thinking, I just wanted to come on for a few minutes and give you guys an update on... Um, the uh, Miss Montana World War II air, airplane that, um, well, and her crew as well, that flew over to Normandy for the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Um, just wanted to give you a little update on all of that and how that is going. Um, of course, they were over, over in Normandy and they stopped a number of places like they stopped in New York. They stopped in uh, somewhere in Kansas. Um, they stopped in um, a number of places. I can't remember them all. But um, they got over to Normandy, and I think they got over there like um, a few, like three or four days early. So they, they stopped over in a place called Duxford, England and um, met up with all the other planes that were going for the D-Day event. And um, um, they had some jumpers that met with them from Montana as well. And there was like 14 or 15 other planes from around the country and from different countries, I believe, that um, met up with them and they were all World War II era planes uh, which I thought was really cool and I can't remember the names of all the planes right now but I am attached to their Facebook feed, feed um, and I have been getting Facebook updates from them every single day and um, it's totally awesome the things that they have told us and the things that um, they've seen. I mean, they uh, took us to the beaches at Normandy and showed us around in one video, and that was that was kind of cool to see that. Even though I wasn't physically there, that was that was kind of cool to see. Um, and then in another video, they took us to one or maybe a couple of the cemeteries where um, soldiers are buried and showed us around there and that was that was also cool and then they also took us to one of the World War II um, museums over there in England in Duxford as well that was that was really cool to see and I'm glad that they're doing all these little little uh, video snippets of their little trip and um, they've had, a, I thought they were coming home right after the jumps at uh, Normandy, but apparently they are not. Um, this plane has become so popular over the last few days or weeks um, and whatnot that uh, Germany wanted them to go over there because it is the 70th anniversary of the airlift over there in Germany. I forget what they call it, but yeah, the airlift over there. So um, they flew over to Germany the other day. I think it was yesterday. They flew over to Germany and uh, they did um, some stuff over there. And uh, this morning I watched a little video that they had filmed and put out. Um, were about four or five different planes, not not Miss Montana. I think Miss Montana stayed on the ground at this point, but like there was four or five other planes that went up in the air and they dropped um, candy on the airfield for all the little kids to um, run around and get kind of like, <laughs> kind of almost like an Easter egg thing, but this was all candy and everything. And, you know, I just think it's really cool that um, 
the Miss Montana and her crew have been able to do this and they've had a lot of other offers from a lot of other countries and whatnot to uh, bring the plane over there. I believe maybe they've had an offer to go over to Holland as well. I don't know if they're going to do that or not. Um, I know they they plan to come home at some point. I just don't know when. Um, I'm kind of hoping that they come home soon because I do want to go out and congratulate them once they do get home. Um, even though this isn't a wartime mission that they went on, this was a pretty big deal and it's um, known worldwide. I mean, they've had plenty of news coverage from lots of different news networks. They've been on Facebook. Um, and these are just local um, volunteers that wanted to get this plane up and running and, and uh, going again, and they did. Um, it took them a year to do it from what I understand. They had one year to get ready for this event over in Normandy, and they did it, and um, the mission has been a success. And um, as far as I can tell, they have not had any issues with the airplane whatsoever um, and it's it's just awesome that these folks were able to do that so um, I know that they're out there enjoying what they're doing and taking the airplane wherever it may take them I mean yeah but hopefully eventually they'll come home soon and when they do I hope to be there to greet them and tell them what an awesome project I think that this was um all right so I'm gonna let you guys go right now because I can't think of what else to say so um until next time I'll see you around all right bye